Hey, what is going on guys? Slava here and today guys we got a bunch of topics so let's just get right into them. Now guys the first topic is very saddening but it's actually very heartwarming at the same time. Now this is coming from Victor Larkhill. He came out with a video today called Abuse Kitten Boiled Alive Update chico fights so yeah, guys in this video it's this little kitty that actually was rescued he was boiled alive and he barely survived so in this video if you're like one of those people that can't like stand surgeries and stuff like that don't watch the video but i'm gonna have a link in the description so if you can donate on paypal to help this kitten survive and help him get better so yeah, guys on to our next topic this is coming from honor the call now as you guys know he's been exposing many youtubers including t martin pro Sin Syndicate and even FaZe Rain and FaZe Clan. Well, guys, today all his videos on his channel were removed. Now, he tweeted out saying, All my videos on my channel are gone. Not sure what is happening, but I am looking into it at Team YouTube. So, yeah, guys, that's really all he tweeted about regarding the videos. I don't really know if he's joking or what happened to them or why they were deleted. Now, guys, the next topic here is coming from Comedy Shorts Gamer. He came out with another video regarding the car accident that he got in very recently. Now, the video was called Dumbest People Ever. And in this video, he actually calls out the people that are dumb enough to think that he faked the car accident and that the car that he had in the vlog has a different license plate than the one that he showed when he got the car. Well, guys, that license plate is just a decoy. It's just one to look cool. And it says Boss CSG as in Boss Comedy Shorts Gamer. He pretty much just shut down all those stupid theories regarding his car accident. Now, guys, the next topic is coming from Browatis. Now, as you guys know, he was at the Drake and Future concert and he was recording a bunch of it on Snapchat. Well, guys, TMZ decided that they would take and steal his Snapchat put their own watermark on it and not give him any credit. Now this was on TMZ.com and it's also on their YouTube channel. Well guys, Bruatis wasn't too happy. He tweeted out saying TMZ had the nerve to literally steal my whole Snapchat story, not give me credit at all, then put their own watermark on it. Laughing my ass off. The nerve at TMZ. If you're making money off my content and not crediting me, at least don't put your own TMZ watermark on the video. Laughing my ass off. Pathetic. So yeah guys, that really is pathetic. It's not shocking to me that this kind of company would just steal his video and put like 16 watermarks as you guys can see on it. So guys, that's really it for the news today. I'm Slather and I'll see you guys in the next news video. Peace.